Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So just a couple of minutes ago, one of my very good friends, which is also a content creator, his name is Frash. He went ahead and sent me a DM over on Discord, letting me know that a brand new game just released called B Simulator. Now, as you can tell, just from the very first look of this game, it looks amazing. And while my very first impression when I came in was kind of like, well, maybe this is just an updated version of B Swarm Simulator, doesn't really seem like that's the case. But if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I haven't really played it at all. So we're just gonna kind of go with the flow here and see what it is that this game has in store for us but from what i can tell right now there's a shop and sell right here in front of me i can see some type of a daily chest up there and then there's different zones that you unlock which looking down all the way over there i can kind of count maybe like three or four zones there might be a lot more than that and then down here we have some type of meadows dispenser a robux one and then one for in-game currency and based off of this chart right in front of me it, it kind of seems like maybe it's skins for your actual b i don't know man everything looks really interesting in this game now Spread out in the first zone, I can see one, two, and three over there NPCs that are going to be giving us quests. So it would probably be a good start to go ahead and gather up some of these. Let's see what it says. Barry, hello, anyone? I lost all four of my roses. Please get them back. And we're going to be rewarded with 800 honey. So I guess it's pretty straightforward to say that we need to come up to these roses, press E, and we will start collecting pollen from these individual roses. Dude, this is kind of cool. So in total, this rose has 100 pollen. We just pulled 10 out. Let's head over now to the cell area. Empty out our pollen right here. If you look on the bottom right hand side, we now have 46 honey. And coming into the shop here, we have the option to increase our capacity, the strength, and then evolution. So if I spend 35,000 honey, we can go ahead and move on to the drone bee. Dude, this is pretty nice. I love how the game looks. I know those of you that have been with the channel for a long time, you'll know that if a game looks good, it's already got a win in my book. But unfortunately, we can't really purchase anything in there because everything is kind of 50 honey. So let's head back to the rows, grab some more here. And with this batch, we should be able to increase our capacity. A couple other things to note if you're playing this on PC, you kind of start off by just being able to fly freely. You can press V on your keyboard and you'll be thrown into first person if that's maybe something that you enjoy. And then right clicking on your mouse will go ahead and free up your actual cursor so you can use some of the menus over here. We got skins, quest, store, codes, and setting. Opening up the quest menu here is kind of a little confusing. I'm not going to lie. It's saying collect roses, but zero out of four have been done but yet when i move on to achievements it says that i've done 21 out of four. i'm confused maybe it means we actually have to take out an entire rose which honestly that's gonna be kind of difficult because i'll need to go back and forth 10 times and that doesn't even guarantee it for me because what if somebody else ends up destroying it before i can but anyways we now have 66 honey let's go ahead and increase our capacity that's gonna be the most important thing right now for me chances are that probably got us to maybe like 20 instead of the previous 10 that we had so let's see if that is indeed the case um oh no it actually increased it to 15 yikes so that's gonna be a lot harder than i thought but from the looks of it we just went ahead and completed that achievement that was an easy 20 honey right there so taking a look over here at the skins right now we have the honey bee which is a common skin so yes those metal things right over here are indeed skins kind of interested to go ahead and buy the robux one just to see if we can maybe get lucky and you know what are the stats on that but i feel like it's too soon to be spending robux i'm just gonna go ahead and do it why not let's see what it is that we got here i think we also got a common so yeah it's basically the same thing that i already had the only difference is is that my b will be pink now so i guess it wasn't too bad that i spent the 25 robux it didn't help me out that much and we actually just got extremely lucky there was a rose right in front of me that had exactly 15 pollen left so we might be able to grab this rose right here and sure enough we did so technically now it should say yep okay so that's exactly what you need to do that makes more sense also i forgot to redeem this daily chest over here this is like literally 250 honey for free don't mind if i do that puts us now at 300 a real nice head start so with this amount i want to go ahead and increase my strength to level two let's do capacity one more time so that'll put us more than likely at 20 and then i'm going to do strength two more times and capacity one more time so now we have both capacity and strength at level four let's see how much faster this goes oh dude it's doing it in increments of four now that's so much better now honestly i should probably accept the other two quests even though i'm pretty sure that one of them is going to be for this buttercup and the other one will more than likely be for what are these daisies maybe yeah the daisies but now that I'm taking a look at it, the buttercups are only 10 pollens. So maybe I shouldn't have jumped into the roses right off the start. This guy says, howdy, small bee. I desperately need 10 daisies, else I'm in big trouble. And that rewards us with a thousand honey. What? How does the buttercup one give us way more than the 
other one? I'm confused. Regardless, this is gonna be way easier for us. Let's get this quest done really quick. But yeah, man, like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you also drop a like on it. It does help my content get out there. And bruh, I just realized, I don't know why I have like these small brain moments, but I've been doing Buttercup this whole time and the quest clearly said daisies. I just ignore me. You know, definitely looking forward to reading those comments of people making fun of me for making that mistake. But anyways, this should now be the final daisy that I need in order to complete this quest. I'm assuming we don't actually need to go back to the bear and we can just claim it right here. Sure enough, that's what we do. And that now put us at 1,500 honey. So let's go do some upgrades here, man. Definitely going to finish getting my capacity to level 10 and we'll also balance out the strength as well to level 10. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on being able to upgrade it to level 10, at least my strength. So we'll have to get back. Back to that but man this game seriously looks so good look at the little effect on how like the honey is kind of dripping down from the top into the shop and then coming over to this side it looks like we need to pay a total of 2500 honey in order to progress to the next area which also has a shop and a bunch of other quest givers as well as another one of those meadow eggs over there i kind of want to progress through the first area without buying any game passes so let's let's start off with that first all right so there we go we now have 2800 honey and i did just complete one of the side quests that I was doing to get 10 daisies again and that's going to reward me with another thousand so we're sitting at 3,800 right now let me go ahead and unlock zone number two and here we go dude this place is called mountain in here we got some tulips we got some lotus couple of lilies over here and that seems to be just about everything inside of this zone and coming over to the shop it looks like everything is the exact same here you got yourself capacity strength as well as evolution so nothing really changes with the shop but over here with the dispenser it looks like the the name now changed to mountains dispenser so it's basically named after whatever zone you're in and inside of here there is three rares five commons and two epics how much is it that we need for the next zone after this Fifty thousand honey and this one kind of looks like maybe some type of beach or something like a, a pirate theme and i'm still seeing maybe two or three more zones even after the next one whoa dude this is massive oh look and up here is the chest this one gives us a thousand honey so because i'm considering buying the infinite capacity what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna stop investing my honey into the capacity and just focus solely on strength so all of these 2000 that i have are going straight into strength that now leaves us with 300 and we got ourselves to level 13 so i think it's that time we go ahead and make our really big purchase here so we can for one not only start zooming through this but also be able to get a closer look at what the end game content looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase the infinite capacity right now grind for a little bit and we'll be right back Back, but I can kind of break down to you guys everything that I've learned within that time frame. So be right back in uh, two seconds. All right. So it's now been an extremely long time since the last time I recorded. It's probably been like nine or 10 hours. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and accomplished a lot. For one, I am now the final evolution in the game, which happens to be called Queen Bee. And if you notice right in front of me, these are all of the portals for each one of the zones. And I've gone ahead and unlocked every single one of them, including Underworld. But before I go ahead and show you guys each of the zones i do want to tell you just a couple of things that i've learned over time as i've been playing for starters the area that i'm in right now is somewhere that you probably won't be too familiar with until the very first time that you evolve this area is called hive and basically it's where all of your leaderboards are if you end up buying the vip game pass you'll come up here in order to redeem your vip chest and it's also an easy way to go ahead and travel in between each one of the zones now currently i am number 28 on the strongest b leaderboard which this will more than likely be either a little bit higher by the time that you guys end up seeing this video because i'm gonna be farming the entire night or i'll more than likely be in the same exact place but anyways man in order to go ahead and access this hive it's gonna be located in every single zone but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in underworld where it's located as you can see right here in every single one of the middle areas where the shop and cell is located you're gonna find this hive on the side all you gotta do is just walk up to it if you're playing on pc press e and you will be instantly teleported inside of this area that i was talking about now coming back over here to the underworld this is currently the the final zone if you notice over here it does say that another zone is coming soon but we don't really get any type of hint of what that zone could be themed after but it should look really cool because a lot of the zones look incredibly detailed and i'm going to show you guys maybe like one or two zones before the underworld so that that way you can get a look since maybe some of you haven't even made it this far now coming over to the shop you can see that for evolutions i am now queen b which as i mentioned before is the max one and i'm also sitting at level 41 strength so yeah man i've definitely made quite a bit of progress also i may as well show you guys this so the final dispenser is worth seven hundred and fifty thousand.
and honey and the rarest thing that you can get from here is the red three question mark skins which unfortunately i haven't been lucky to actually get it it's a one percent drop if i spend robux as a five percent hopefully i can get one of these one day it would be really nice but with my absolutely terrible luck i'm pretty sure i'm never gonna get one of these let me just actually buy a couple right now you, you never know right oh my no way i actually got one are you serious well we just got ourselves ethereal my very first question mark skin and at level one it does come with plus eight speed times 1.8 strength and times 1.6 capacity which doesn't really affect me because i obviously have the infinite game pass let me level this up a couple of times dude what that's so crazy i didn't think i was actually gonna get it so after leveling it up we're now at plus 56 speed times 6.6 .6 strength and times 5.2 capacity at only level seven and oh dude looks pretty cool it's like super bright and dang i'm super fast now really quickly before i forget let me also show you guys some of the stuff that's in here so you got jasmines with 1.5 million pollen magnolias with 800,000 pollen and then the final one here are called poppy which are 200,000 pollen so let's go ahead now and travel to the zone right before underworld this one is called atlantis i love that little animation when you come into zones that like all the flowers start growing in but yeah super bright world i really like how this looks let's go ahead and enter the one right before even this one this one is oasis which is really the third zone i'm sure a lot of you have actually experienced this but also a very very nice looking one but now i kind of want to go ahead and give you guys a quick little tip that is really going to help you guys out when you first start off so after you've gone ahead and exited out of the very first zone being right here called meadows you'll be thrown into this zone called mountains this is the very first zone where you'll be able to find monster flowers and these are super major because if you notice right down let me see where are they over here you have the lilies which happen to be the strongest one in this specific zone and it provides you with a total of 1000 pollen but if you look over here this ginormous monster lily is actually like i guess you could say the boss of the zone if we go ahead and get closer you'll notice that this bad boy has 40,000 pollen so for those of you that maybe want to go ahead and i don't know walk away from the computer for a couple of minutes to maybe go use the bathroom or grab a drink or something and you want to be able to collect pollen throughout that time that you're gone you definitely want to go ahead and find these monster flowers every single zone has it even if we come over to oasis you'll notice right over there on the back right hand corner there is a monster paraskia I, I don't know how to pronounce that one also the same thing over here in atlantis you have the monster iris 800,000 pollen very very good for when you're in this area and then obviously in the final zone you have over by the lava volcano the monster jasmine with 25 million so yeah just thought i would go ahead and share that little quick tip with you guys hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed this video like always i will have a link to the game in the description if you want to see more videos on this game i will be more than happy to go ahead and do some more the devs have already said that they're actively working on future updates so you best believe that i will most definitely be playing more of this but anyways man that's gonna go ahead and do it for today like always i will see you guys in the next one take care